In the chaos and confusion of any major disaster, getting the right aid to the right place, crucial and no easy task. Now all of that will become easier thanks to Dubai's Royal Highness Princess Haya bin Dal Hussein. CNN gained exclusive access to a new system that will share information amongst aid agencies. And I got a rare peek inside Dubai's giant international humanitarian city. An earthquake strikes Haiti in 2010. In 2013, a typhoon devastates the Philippines. In South Sudan, conflict leaves a refugee crisis. In Bangladesh, Rohingya victims are without food and shelter. Disasters natural and man-made. When aid is needed, it comes from deep in the desert of Dubai. International humanitarian city under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint Al Hussein. We can get anything anywhere in the world within within eight hours, and unfortunately, over fifty percent of of now the humanitarian problems of the world are really around um, around this MENA region. We supply for any humanitarian emergency whether it's natural disaster or man-made. And we respond in a completely apolitical manner. Her Royal Highness is married to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Together, dispatching aid at a moment's notice. Taking advantage of the giant Jebel Ali port two world-class airports. There wasn't anything like this in, in existence, so to speak. The idea to position it here was really incredible. We have um, the sea right next to us, and we've got the port, we've got the airport next to us. We can um, move from sea to air in seven minutes to be able to deliver. And logistics is, yes, it's a signature of Dubai. Logistics? All in one place. Oh, here, we go. Yeah. here is everything you could need for any emergency. It's quite overwhelming, actually. First aid and pharmaceuticals, tents and trucks, and food, making the difference between life and death. It's a means to survive. When you look at most of the most of the crises in, especially now with the refugees. The amount of miles that they have to walk with families to save themselves, to save their children, these, these are, these are lifesavers. The amount of stories you have of refugees. Dubai wants to take aid and its expertise in logistics to the next level. By linking up aid inventory around the world, who's got what and where? Led by a former UN logistics expert, Giuseppe Saba. You have food in the warehouses, shelter, educational material, protection, logistics assets, telecommunication, water and sanitation. Making sure aid moves fast needs support at the highest level by the ruler himself. As soon as Giuseppe calls me and says um, WFP needs a plane to go to Bangladesh, UNHCR needs to send something to Entebbe, Within minutes, I'm calling Sheikh Mohammed. I'm asking him for permission to, to uh, mobilize the aircraft. Dubai, known for its glitz and glamour, now helping disaster victims who've lost it all. I'm really proud of, of what he does um, and what the government of the UAE do and what I'm allowed to do. And it helps me to sleep at night. But I don't think any of the leadership here feels that they can pat themselves on the back and say it's a job well done. The nature of what we're dealing with, it's, it's never well done till it's over.